So in terms of diet and nutrition, I think again, um, at a community level, there's nothing sort of like drastic that you need to do. Again, the, the biggest thing obviously is making sure that you're sort of getting the nutrients that your body needs to um, sort of operate at whatever level it is. Now that this is not sort of specific to just being referee, but you know, the more sort of fruits and vegetables that you can eat during the week um, is probably gonna set you in good stead. Um, particularly given that a lot of those are, you know, not that calorie dense. So you can eat a lot of vegetables um, and feel very full without sort of getting a lot of the calorie intake. Um, but the big thing obviously is if you're eating foods that are sort of whole foods that are, you know, bought from the grocery store that, that you like, that are tasty um, and eating them sort of within reasonable amounts, um, it's probably gonna set yourself up pretty well. Um, obviously, as you lead maybe closer to a game day, we might be looking at some more, some more specific requirements in terms of making sure that you've got sort of enough carbohydrates in the sort sort of Thursday, Friday leading up to a game so that you've got some stores to draw on on Saturday, um, particularly if you are going to be maybe refereeing one game and then ARing another game or sort of putting yourself through maybe a bit more of a strenuous day. Um, the biggest thing is just to make sure that you've got sort of a balanced, healthy diet um, while still sort of being able to, you know, enjoy the finer things in life, but within moderation um, such that, yeah, you're sort of operating at that optimum level, I guess.